Hi everyone, Mr. Morgan Lewis here. In this video, we're going to talk about the axe kick. Um, commonly used in, in light continuous sparring, um, and it can be used to some degree in self defense, but it's really not the most accessible kick for everybody. But we're going to go through the technique, and uh, in, in my opinion, the do's and don'ts. Okay, so the axe kick uses the heel to strike down on top of the target. Um, it's the signature kick of uh, uh, Grandmaster Martin and, and the school and on the school logo. Um, the ability to just lift the leg up and just bring it straight down on top of the collarbone or just catching the target out, completely out of nowhere. It's phenomenal. <laughs> but uh, it's, it, it can be like that for yourself. You can train it like that, but you, you, know, you have to develop it. Um, also, it's very, it's very, very good to help those that struggle a little bit with the hamstring flexibility. It's good to help promote that. All right, so the, practicing the kick will encourage your legs to stretch, but again, it's not 100% necessary for you to have to get your leg right up here and then come down. I'm gonna explain some of the different uses for it. So, to start with, we're gonna use the pad to outline the do's and don'ts. So, do, do it this way, okay? You bring the knee across, and it comes up, and then down the target. So I'm not actually striking the pad with this because my foot will get stuck, and then we'll spend the rest of the video with my leg stuck there, okay? So don't want that. So we bring the knee across, and then slice it down the target, okay? So if I was standing away from the pad, my knee would be coming to the outside layer of the pad, and then straight down the middle here. But just to show you, you bring the knee across with the guard up, you extend it and then it comes down. Now the reason you do it this way is so that whilst you're performing the kick, you are 100% shielded, okay? So the knee coming across in the guard here, it means that if there's any counter punches coming or anything like that, or my opponent attempts to throw a kick, it's much harder for them because they have to work through protecting themselves from the kick and also trying to get through me at the same time, okay? So I'm shielded by performing this movement here. The other good thing is, if your partner, your sparring, does a, throws a kick towards you, what you can do is you can use your shin or your chamber to knock the kick out of the way, and then you counter with your axe kick as such, okay? Another reason is that perhaps you don't consider yourself um, able to extend your leg that far. So you can use the axe kick, much like the crescent kick as well, the outwards crescent kick, um, or the inwards, um, but you use it to bring the guard away. So if this pad had the guard here like this, what I'd be doing is using my axe kick to bring the arm down so that I can encounter with a, with a punch, for instance. All right? Now, this is my opinion. Obviously, it's going to be different, and it can still be used, but this is my opinion. If you do the axe kick this way around, boom, so it comes from the outside to inside, yes, it's good for slipping past the guard, coming, coming straight down and hitting the target. However, if you're against someone that's trained, then, and, they, and, they, and they learn to spot the differences in the chamber, when you lift your knee across the outside and then kick inwards to then go down the middle, you leave yourself open, prone to another kick. And because you're already up on the ball of the foot and you've got your chamber up, if your partner place a nicely timed kick in the middle, it can knock you off balance and uh, push you back a few feet, okay? Not only that, if you forget to have your guard up or something, you can slip into a punch. But the other thing also is, if you go to do the kick this way and then your partner moves to the side, okay, it can leave you in a position where you're still open here. Whereas with the other one, practicing on the inside, if, if your partner was to move that direction, for instance, I can then turn and face them. The other thing, if they turned that way or moved that way as I've done the kick, okay, there's nothing to then stop me lifting my leg up and popping a side kick in that place, for instance, okay? So there's a number of uh, different reasons there, but however, you, you can, I'm not saying you can't use the, the axe kick on the inside like this, I just wouldn't do it myself, okay? But in any case, that's there. So, facing you now, practicing the technique. So, you know, have a go at both see what feels better for you, okay, in general. But we, we tend to practice going this way a lot more than the other way, okay? So knee comes up and then extend and down. And try to thrust the heel out. Um, when you're uh, <coughs> performing this in sparring, obviously you've got to be careful using the heel that you don't you know, collapse it on top of your partner. Sometimes what we tend to do is extend the foot 
So we reach with the toes and just catch the, the top of the helmet or the body with, with the foot to uh, get a bit more reach, okay? But as I explained, you can use it to bring the guard down and you know your flexibility can allow you with consistent practice to develop getting the axe kick at you know, unbelievably close positions, okay? So you could be very, very close to a target and then up and pop and straight over the top. Can be done, but it's not 100% necessary to do so, okay? So from here, it's the knee comes across, lift it nice and high, really encourage that hamstring up here and then down. Do not place emphasis on swinging your leg up. That's not an axe kick, that's a leg raise, okay? And you can do your hamstring some harm if you're not careful. Chamber, as with every other kick, always chamber. So it's knee comes up, guards here, up, and straight down the middle and here. Just do this side, knee up, here, down the middle, okay? So, give that a practice. Um, like and share the video, give us a comment, let us know how you get on with it. Good practice for paddles, okay? And you can perform it off of other kicks as well, such as front kick into axe kick, but have a play with it, see what you think. All right, but uh, look after yourself, and as always, make sure you uh, try to, make sure you're warmed up before you're doing this as well. Make sure you stretch it off a bit before performing this, but um, give it a go, see what you think. Like and share the video, as I said, leave a comment, and as always, Happy training.